people were telling me um, not to gain weight and at first it was easy it was easy not to gain weight at first because it's hard to put on weight okay and when it's hard to put on weight then you eat and you think that you can eat and not gain weight because you're supposed to eat to hold on to the fat okay now this is true you eat to hold on to the fat, but at some point you are going to have to stop eating because it will, uh, your weight will start to pick up. Um, eating to hold on to your weight, uh, is something that you can do for like the first, I say three, four months. Okay. After three, four months, it's going to be easy to put that weight on. So you guys make sure that you are exercising at that point. Um, if you haven't learned how to fast or eat healthy or learn how to keep that weight off. Okay. You got to start exercising. You got to start doing something that's going to keep the weight off. I suggest that you learn to fast or you learn how to eat healthy or whatever, whichever way you want to do it, okay? It's really not up to anyone else to tell you how to maintain your weight or lose weight because it's really about what works for you, okay? So, um, so um, you guys, it's really easy to uh, put on the weight and it's not so easy to recognize it when it's going on, especially if you've gotten a BBL. Because if you've gotten a BBL, your body has changed, your shape has changed. So you don't always see it as quickly. You still see yourself as looking magnificent, okay? You still look good to you because you're not used to the shape. You were shaped differently. So putting on weight it looks different than how you look before when you put on weight when you look the way you look before when you put on weight you looked different you didn't like your shape so putting on more weight was like you not liking yourself more especially if you prepared for your bbl mentally because we go through it mentally first. We have to work ourselves up. We have to go through, you know, the things that we go through in order to get that BBL. It's a process. People think that you take the easy way out when you get surgery and it's not. It's not in any kind of way the easy way out because when you get surgery, you have to mentally prepare. You have to save that money. You have to prepare to take that flight, take that journey. You have to mentally prepare to heal because you are going to have to heal. You know, um, some of us, we got to mentally prepare because we got to drop our BMI. <laughs> you know, not all of us are surgery ready. You know, sometimes you got to drop that weight and it's a struggle to keep that weight off, especially if you're used to being a fat girl or you're used to eating a certain way. You know, if you're a natural Coke body, uh, Coke bottle body naturally, you're not going to struggle the way women who decide to get most women, not every woman um, needs the BBL. Some women are going for a second and a third round BBL. So they already have a Coke bottle. Um, some women are just getting liposuction or getting a BBL. 
you know, and they already have really good shapes. But I'm saying for women who are not shaped like that, I wasn't shaped like that at all, okay? So women shaped like me, top heavy, um, heavier in the midsection, you know, these are things that when we look at our bodies after getting a BBL, you're like, damn, <laughs> you know, like you're totally different now. So when you start picking up weight and you're not really losing your results because you still look good, you know, you still have people saying, damn, you know, they are trying to talk to you still, you know, um, they are really still blown away. I don't get, to, on, on another note, you guys, I don't understand how and why <clears throat> men like big boobs that I don't I don't get that I see big boobs all the time because I always had big boobs and men are just I mean they open doors they trip over they constantly try and talk to me big I don't know if it's the big boob I, well the big boobs and the big butt uh has gotten me more attention than anything because the butt I, I i get more attention because i have both um but <sighs> it's a trip it's a trip with men how men will just trip over themselves when it comes to the boobs i don't get it i don't get it i want to cut these things off okay <sighs> anyway um my honey told me I can't touch my body until he gets to, until he's tired of it. And then I can change. <laughs> um, but, and I'm going to do this and stay this way. I'm just going to say that until he says he wants to, because uh, he's the one that has to be pleased with it. I want to please him. You know, he's the one that is the reason I have this body it was I did it for him. Absolutely. I did it for myself as well. Not just him. I would have gotten it even if I wasn't with him because I wanted to be happy with myself. Now, don't get me wrong, but yes, it was definitely for him too. Um, but okay, back to gaining weight. Um, you can lose your results if you gain too much weight. But at the same time, you gotta be careful not to still feel like you look good so you can gain a little bit of weight. Don't even gain a little bit of weight. The, I, I made that mistake. I was like, okay, I could gain a little bit of weight. I still look good. And I felt like I did still look good. But when I went to go put on certain clothes, I realized that I, I didn't look the way that I used to look, you know? I used to look a certain way when I put on certain clothes and I started to, mm -hmm, I started to do this. Hmm. I started to have that confused look, like what happened to my flat, flat stomach? Why do I start, Why I, there's a bulge there now. <laughs> you know, uh, even though I needed a tummy tuck, I really, I had a flat, flat stomach and I really didn't need a shaper to see my hourglass. And so when I started to gain weight, I, I needed the shaper to see my hourglass. And my, I was like, I didn't used to need that. And that is when I realized that I was putting on too much weight and I was about to lose my results, you know? Um, and it was only a year later. I'm 15 months now and I'm starting to go backwards as far as lose the weight and my hourglass is back without my shaper. Um, I still have about, I said about 10 more pounds. And... No, I say about 15, about 15 more pounds to take off before I am back where I was. Um, but you guys, it is so easy to put on that weight. So easy to put on that weight. So just make sure ladies, when you get your BBLs, you know, and I know you're gonna be happy. I know it's gonna be great. <laughs> be careful not to put on that weight. <laughs> Don't think just because you st you have an hourglass and you still look good, you're a little bit bigger, 
um, you still look good, that you can't spill over or tip over into the danger zone, okay? And that is where you are not wearing your, fitting your clothes the way you used to, okay? You don't wanna do that. Make sure that you're eating your salads. There's nothing wrong with a salad, ladies. Eat salads a couple meals. Replace a couple meals um, in a day. If you're eating three times a day, replace it with a salad. You know, maintain, work out, drink water. Don't overdo it with any of that, of course. Um, but keep a nice balance. Um, fast, fast every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with not eating. Uh, for a few days, you're not gonna die, okay? You're just giving your body a chance to digest the food that's in your stomach, to metabolize the food that you've taken in, okay? Giving your your bloating a chance to de-bloat, um, giving your body a chance to de-bloat. Um, you know, you're gonna drop a little water weight, you gotta feel lighter, your stomach's gonna look flatter, you know, you're gonna look good, you know. There's nothing wrong with fasting a couple days a week or a couple times a month, um, for a few months out of the year, whichever way you wanna do it. It's nothing wrong with fasting, okay? The Bible tells us that fasting is a good thing, okay? Who are you gonna listen to? The person who created you, created your body, or are you gonna listen to some human being that can't create a, a body? That's where I get fasting from, the Bible, <laughs> okay? Uh, fast, you guys, you know? You know, I want to just touch on these men that think that they can tell women what they should and shouldn't look like and whether they're high value or low value. I'm so tired of hearing this term and I'm gonna mention this on almost every video because I think it's ridiculous and it is dangerous. Stay away from that high value, low value stuff. And I wanna touch on that because I wanna say, men think that they can tell women what they should and shouldn't look like and if they're high or low value. Well, honey, look, these fat men, okay, that tell us that we are, are low value or are high value, whether we can have kids or eggs. I heard this tonight. A, a woman after 35 uh, can't have, a women after 35 uh, values are low or considered low value or they're less of less value because they can't have kids. Well, what about you when you are 35 or 40 or 50, since you think you're still high value at 50 with this big old gut, okay? And you're because of your bad eating habits and not exercising, your dick won't stay hard, okay? You can't last that long or you're dripping sweat and huffing and puffing all over some woman when you're having sex. I'm sorry, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, you, you can't even keep yourself in shape, but you think that you're valuable at 50 because you're a man with your big belly and your sweaty ass sweating all over me. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And I'm not saying that this has happened with the person that said that I, I had sex with nobody except for mine. And mine ain't like that, okay? <clears throat> we ain't even gonna go there about his body, okay? But anyways... <laughs> Um, I don't want no big fat 50 year old man with no big old Betty belly, uh, sweating all over me, dripping sweat out of shape. Dick can't stay hard. Excuse me. Men are not attractive at every age, honey. I'm sorry. They're not. Okay. Let's get that right. <laughs> Sitting there talking that mess about women because they don't can't have kids after honey, I'm 45 years old. I'm pushing 50. And have you, you better look at me. I look damn good. Okay. And I get the proof of that every single time. Peace y'all. <laughs> she calls me day and night. I'm sorry, girl. You just don't make me feel right. I never meant to make you cry. You were right. Just leave me. I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time You wake up feeling worse And then you check the time It's never what it feels like